things. It's just so cool. There it is right there. I don't even know what to do with myself right now. And it's right there. It's about 20 yards from him. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Well, what an awesome end to an awesome day. First time you've ever seen a snowy owl. It is. What do you think? <laughs> they are absolutely gorgeous. Hey, friends. Well, I decided we're going to take a little adventure today. and I haven't really done that for a few weeks, and I thought I'd bring you along. Let's check things out. I would love to find an owl or two today. It's a good time of year for them because obviously there's no leaves on the trees. There's not a lot moving around. We're looking for a barred owl. So owls playing hide in pretty plain sight. Barred owls, of course, are nocturnal, so getting here pretty early to try to catch them still moving around and hunting is best. I might have missed that this morning. And I was really silly because I just now am realizing that I left my binoculars in the car. Boy, am I out of practice or what? There it is. Right there. There it was right there. Didn't move on us. Gonna back up a little bit and try to give it some space and also try to get a shot on it. just awesome and I did find him again at a distance and uh, I just love I love the owls. Barred owls are super cool. So. All right we're not gonna use up all our luck though we're gonna go find another owl. <music> Another creature to take a photo of today. Well, if this owl is here, this will be the first time I've ever seen it. I don't know exactly where it is, so we're just gonna have to look. Just like any owl, it hides in plain sight. Because it's a nocturnal bird, which means it's not gonna be moving around. Probably won't even have its eyes open. This bird is magnificent. I... Of course, it's nocturnal, so it's resting. But it is just such a beautiful bird. I've never seen it in my life. I... And I got lucky because there was a mom with a little kid coming out of the woods. And then there was one person down here who just left. And here I am with the bird. And it's just quietly sitting. I'm gonna take some photos. Try to, well, not disturb it, it's sleeping. And then I'm gonna get out of here and let it be. But how marvelous is this bird? <sighs> I love seeing new birds. I love owls. Seeing new owls, it's just amazing. I'm not sure how anybody found that little guy. And he's super tolerant, or she, super, super tolerant. Kind of opened its eyes a few times, as I think it probably does anyway. I know dozens of people have been there to photograph it, and it sits there. So I hope you enjoy this little bird I'm so glad that it was here, and I'm so glad that I was able to capture it, capture it and share it with you, and thanks to all those that have identified it, so anyway, awesome experience, 
and uh, also owl number two today, which is super, super cool. Looking for an eastern screech owl. I know where it's photographed the most, and it is not there today, or at least not right now. So I've been just looking around a little bit. They are like they are really quite small birds. So surprisingly small, not as small as the one we just saw. Well, I did not find the eastern screech owl here in Hastings, and I'm going to call it a day. It was a delightful day. Uh, seeing those two owls. Uh, I thought we might be able to find more and I think also what I just decided is we're going to make this a multi-day project and not just a one-day project because I do think uh, we can add to, to the owls that we've seen. So that's it for today but we are definitely going to get back out. <laughs> Well, it's Tuesday morning and I was out last Tuesday and I saw a number of owls and it just was so fun and so I am back out. Um, this is a great time of year in Minnesota to look for owls. Let's go see what we can find. And my first spot here is a park here in the Twin Cities with a pretty open space and I am looking for a long-eared owl. They're known to roost out here so don't know exactly where but I do know it's out here and I think I'm on the right side of the park so I love how wide open and quiet this place is it is really quiet it's part of what I like about winter birding actually is I just think the world is a little quieter there's a patch of woods over here and there is a photographer in there with a big lens and then there's a big patch of woods over here. So I could double up and kind of see what he's up to. Or I could go look over in this other space. And I think I'm inclined more to do that. Go to look in this other space. That's kind of the photographer's dilemma, right? Is that they always think they're missing out on something. We always think we're missing out on something. Don't want to miss the shot. Is there a better shot? Is there a better angle? Is there a better place? All that stuff. I think sometimes you just gotta tell your voices to just settle, settle down, chill out, and enjoy the quiet, the solitude. That's part of what I love, but just getting out for the quiet. And also something to pursue, because that's important to me. I like something to pursue. Um, a down woodpecker. I think that was a hairy. Yeah, maybe a downy. They don't know the... Oh, there's one. There's a long ear doll right there. It was flying. Okay. It was flying. It was flying. I'm going to try to get closer, but not so close to disrupt it. This is not a long ear doll. Thought, when I saw it briefly fly, it was. It was low to the ground. It's in woods, but it's actually a barred owl. It's a beautiful, mature adult. Beautiful barred owl. It is still actively looking for food, even though he hasn't moved too much. I sat and watched him from the side for a long time. Okay. I don't think I've ever had an owl sit for me in one place this long. Probably should have tipped you up a little bit. You were looking a little bit down. Oh, here it comes. Oh, shit. Isn't that funny? I sat and watched it all this time, and it flew within two feet of the ground, right past me. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful watching it fly. Beautiful. 
And I'm not sure I would have kept the camera on it. But I could have tried. That's so funny. So funny. <laughs> well, this is how it always works, right? I declared myself to not be looking, and then I looked over, and the gentleman I had seen earlier, his name was Dina, he is on right there. And it's right about 20 yards from him. Isn't that crazy? I think that is wild. So I appreciate Dana being on that bird because it is not where I expected it to be. And it's not nearly as big as I expected it to be. So Dana, if you're watching this, thank you. We had just an opportunity to sit and chat. The bird is 20 yards from, from where he's set up and it's just been sitting the whole time. It is just a beautiful bird and I love that it's a quiet morning and like I said without his help I'm not sure I would have seen it I was hopeful I would find a couple of different kinds of owls today but frankly I never expected I would find a couple of different species at the very first place so that was really pretty awesome well I'm at my next stop for today, and already I see a hawk. I don't think it's a red tail either. Maybe a Cooper's hawk. I did just walk by two people with binoculars and cameras, and they were not looking where I would expect them to look. They were looking along the path. So um, it's, you know, 10, 10.30. So um, I wouldn't expect movement very much, but um, hopefully they are sitting outside. Oh, there it is right there. I don't know if this is the mother or the father, but it is right there. We are going to get ourselves a great horned owl today, and it is sitting right out in the open, and I love that. Wow. There is a little pavilion here at Silverview Park, and so, and there's even a little sign here. So there isn't really a secret about the fact that there are owls here. I think it's the male. Those photographers that I walked by um, hadn't seen it, but it, they had walked right past it. But that happens. Owls plain, hide in plain sight. So he is right up there. See when you can see him. The last time I was here a couple years ago, I saw the female. She's huge, so that's why I think this is the male that's sitting out. This is the time of year that they nest. So later in the year, we'll have to come back because hopefully they have. Um, a, a couple of outlets and those are always fun to kind of watch what they're up to and what they're doing. I debated just calling it a day because it's been a wonderful day. Three different owl species, uh, just a really, really nice time out and about. But you know what? I'm going to go look for one last one. And this one's a little bit of a drive, but I've never been here. I'm curious. I've got the time. And once in a while, you just got to say, why not, right? But I'm really excited to check this out. What we're looking for here towards sunset is the short-eared owls. Uh, I should be getting there kind of 3.30-ish. I don't think these birds will move around until 4.30 or even closer to 5 maybe. But we'll see. You never know. So um, we'll get out there. We'll get settled. We'll get the lay of the land and we'll figure out uh, what's next. are here. This is called Armstrong Wetland Restoration. Wow, well, what an awesome end to an awesome day. I was out here where the short-eared owls tend to get up and, and I had a chance to watch them. I did uh, talk to a couple of really cool people, Deb and Ricky. Um, Ricky shared lots of information. He's a local guy that has um, been out here regularly and um, just a wonderful, wonderful experience. There's still lots of people out here. I'll show you a little bit of what it looks like, but um, the, the light is starting to die down and the birds are out a ways. Um, I also spotted a mink on the frozen pond and um, 
I think got distracted by somebody on the road, but um, but basically it's private property, so it's just stay on the road and uh, see what you can see. It's really fun. I guess that wraps up a four owl day. So with that, I have a, a bit of a trek home, but it's one that I'm excited about. Um, it'll allow me to just think for a little bit about what a wonderful day it was. Just after four in the morning and I'm headed north to the bog. I spent the last kind of week and a half uh, with a bunch of owls and uh, I'm hoping to get just a few more here and then we're gonna share all of them with you. Well I'm expecting I will meet my sister up here again. Uh, we are trying to be up at the dawn to have a shot at the great gray owls uh, but we'll see. We are not gonna put any pressure on them. We're just going to see what happens. Alright friends, well we finally made it into the same vehicle. We've been driving a little bit separately. And uh... It's been a weird morning, hasn't it? It has been a little weird. So we were here at daybreak, which is nice. And I drove both McDavid and Admiral, the two main roads here, and there wasn't a single soul on either of them. We're just driving slowly. We're checking things out. Looking for a great gray. Might be a little late for him by now, but can't see him if you don't look for him. Right. All right, well, we will come back to you if we find something cool, when we find something. Cool, not if. When. It is cold. <laughs> it is cold. My fingers are Unexpectedly cold. Uh, but we got cold for a reason, right? Yes, we did. What did we see? A snowy owl. Yes. Have you so seen one before? Cool. Not in person, no. Uh -huh. It's a lifer. It's so cool. That is so cool. I'm so glad we got to see that. Me too. Um, it was sitting in some grass. It did move. It did fly a little bit. It did. So, I'm so glad. First time seeing the snowy owl is pretty cool. It, and all of a sudden, it is breezy though. I don't feel, well, I guess it was it breezier this morning. We just didn't spend much time out in it. Oh my goodness. Let's hope it turns, hope it's clear. I, that is a great photo. That is a great photo, Denise. I hope, I, I hope it's spot on too for you. Um, but yeah, so snowy owl, super, super cool. And also a bonus, we were walking past a vehicle and a woman pops out and she said, hey, we've been watching your videos. And that was, that made me smile. That probably made my day. That was really cool. And then she looked at you and she said, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> and and, and in fairness, see. I think she was just talking about the most recent video up here. And in fairness, you were with. I was. But yeah. Aaron was the one with the camera. Yeah. Uh, so I saw a snowy owl, but I think that even made my day more. Because I do love sharing what we see out here. Yes. So. All right. What would we find? The northern hawk owl. The northern hawk owl, same one we saw last time, but he's uh, he's super photogenic today. Oh, yeah, I would say this is even a better spot, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. The other day he moved a little bit, but he is perched up really nicely. He's gonna hunt, but I wasn't equipped to stay out there. So, wow. Start the day with an owl. Start the, end the day, day yep. with an yep. owl. Two owls today. A two owl day. Any owls in a day is a good day. More than one. Awesome. Yeah. Right? Agreed. And you got an owl you've never seen. I no. did. It's so fun. All right. Cool stuff. Definitely. Which, which owl do you prefer? Oh, definitely the snowy. Definitely the snowy. You've seen this guy before. I have. And he's cool too, but the snowy is just beautiful. But he's pretty angry, this guy. I still like him though. He's small. All right, good stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's a good day. It was. Thanks for meeting me up here. Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. That leaves me with somewhere around it's seven different owl species. Um, I think I actually counted twelve total owls. Uh, by the time I count all of the actual owls, so twelve owls, seven different species. Um, 
across about 10 days. I hope you enjoy. like a damn fool but I don't mind. Yeah, uh, we both do because we're that, flipping cold. It, well the wind, are... yeah we were out there for a while and the wind really did get me. Yeah. I need to convert to my actual winter coat. I thought I could get by without it today but I do have it in the back. I just didn't put it on yet. We are waiting on the Pine Martin. Yes. We're waiting on a good pine. old fashioned stakeout. <laughs> right? Right. Okay so we're in here. In broad daylight. 